Hi, and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner, and I'm working on the administration area for my codingwithjesse.com website. I've just finished setting up some middleware, basically just a JavaScript file that handles uh, setting up Express for the admin section of the site. And right now all I'm doing is taking anything inside slash admin and sending the, this HTML file for the uh, index. And that's fine, but I want to also have some API calls. So if you remember from my much earlier videos, I have this posts model, and it does some database queries. It can uh, add, remove, edit posts from the database. So I want to be able, I want to pull that in. So posts model. I'm going to require that from going up a directory slash model slash posts. And then I will, um, it just occurred to me that it uses the database and I need to somehow set up the uh, connection for the database. And I should do that from my root index because um, it has access to the configuration or I could pass the configuration into my admin controller and have it return. I could do it like that. That might be a little bit easier, but maybe I don't need that quite yet. Maybe right now I'll just pull in the database from require model database and then I'll uh, I need to call this init function with the config for my SQL. So let's do it that way because I'll have one database connection for the whole server and it can be shared between the admin and the regular site. That's no problem. So I need to pass it some configuration, which I don't think I have. In fact, I don't even have a database set up yet. So let's do that. I have a test database set up. We're in the config.js in the root folder. Um, so I'm going to have a similar block outside of the test block and localhost root, but instead of test underscore coding with Jesse, it'll just be coding with Jesse. So how about I go set that up? So MySQL host localhost user root and create database coding with Jesse. And I have this create table block. Um, I will just paste that in because I don't need to do that. Oh, use coding with Jesse. I don't need to do this more than once, right? I hope. So that'll set that up. And now if I, hmm, well, that should just work. Let's find out. So if I start the server, now it says cannot find module model database. I probably have to go dot slash. Seems right. Let's try it again. And it didn't complain. So that is uh, successful as far as I can tell. Okay, so back in my admin controller, I've pulled in the post model. And now I need to tell it, uh, let's just, Let's just wire up uh, get post. So get all. I want to call this get all. So I don't need to do anything special. I don't need to pass it anything. But I just want to see if that works. So we'll have it to be API slash posts slash um, maybe just that. And then request response what will it do it's going to call post model dot get all and remember that's a promise so i'm going to get back the uh something what am i going to get back a list of posts and then i want to send that to the response as json um, I think I can just do that, but let's see. Whoop. 
response dot response object. Let's see what the documentation says on that. Response. So send. And I can send text, but I think if you send an object, this is gonna make it JSON. Res dot send. Send 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 send. I don't know. Let's just try it. Let's just see what happens. And then I also need to do a catch. So let me indent that. Because what if something goes wrong, right? We want we want to be able to know. And if something goes wrong, we're going to get an error. Let's send that error. OK. I might do something different later, but let's try that out. So I need to kill my server, start it again. Now I should be able to go API slash posts and and it didn't work. It sent me to it sent me the HTML. So I think that's because I declared these in the other order, maybe. So then the API post it didn't know. Could that be why? I have another theory. Okay, there we go. So I got back a JSON empty array because I don't actually have any posts. So the API is coming together, and as I need more endpoints, I can set that up here. And uh, I'll be doing that in future videos. So uh, stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.